Morning all and uh, welcome to a wonderful Kennel Vale which is where the River Kennel runs through an old gunpowder works. It's quite cold and windy, November, but there's still some leaves on the trees. Just look at this rock, wonderful. Lots of green moss, fallen leaves. And there's this beech tree which is just seemingly growing out of the rock. I've tried to photograph it several times but never got a successful image. This is a place of moss, beech trees, beautiful cascading water over big rocks and an old gunpowder works which uh, has lots of old stories to tell. This is where they used to produce gunpowder for the tin mines so that they could blow their way through the, the rock down at the tin mines because importing it was quite expensive. So in the 19th century they built this gunpowder works. At the end of this video I'll take you through some of my older shots of this place because I've been here quite a few times because I love it so much. Just coming up to the first of the buildings now. These main ones were kept away from the river so I'm not sure what they were used for. I'm just going to take you to this wonderful pond which is formed in the old quarry where I presume they dug the rock out to make the buildings with. Fantastic, you can get some really good reflections here. So just going to go around to the other side of the pond. Here you can get some great pictures of the ferns. You can see the ferns there on the other side of the pond. Perhaps I'll put one of my older shots on because today the light's not right. So this is the scene in front of me. So I'm going to set my tripod up and try and get a good shot of these beech leaves. This is a video of what I can see through my viewfinder. What I don't like is the fact that there's a white cloud there so I'm going to wait for the blue to come across of the sky. I might zoom in a bit more and also the branch is coming across quite horizontally and flat so I might do something like this. Yeah I think that's better. So yeah that's a lot better. Next thing I'm going to do is put a polarizing filter on to cut down some of the reflection. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Waiting for the light. The story of my life. Cheers. Mmm, peppermint tea. so pleased with that shot. Yeah you can hear it there's a lot of water here today there's been a lot of rain this week well <laughs> there's been a lot of rain this month. Look at that. I try to avoid milky looking water in my shots so I'd rather have a higher ISO with a higher shutter speed 
just to avoid that milky look. I know you can't avoid it sometimes when it's dark, but uh, I'd rather not have it. Quick look inside the old buildings. Look great with the beech leaves all over the floor. So I just found this young beech tree on the left, which I rather like. So I'm going to try and get a shot of it. The top of it's not very attractive. It kind of bends over and there's a gap between the top and the bottom section. So I think I'll just zoom in on that lower section there. If I try and do it with my video camera, slowly. Apologies, this is not on a tripod. It's just handheld. But I'm looking at a shot, something like that. <laughs> you fell over. <laughs> Don't you just love wood when it gets like this? Thanks for tuning in again and please send me a like or a comment or a subscribe to encourage me to keep doing this. Thank you. Bye. I bet they blinking won't. <laughs>